What is up guys, Pastor Mark? Hey, hope your summer is going great. It's been a little baby minute since we checked in, so I just wanna share some stuff with you that's coming up here before you know it. It's coming up right now. Here's the download. First important thing that I wanna to talk to you about is fun and helps people. I think God really likes us to have fun and help people. Probably reverse that order. He wants us to help people, but also have fun while we're doing it. So we're going to do both. We're going to have the back to school family festival. Now, here's the thing. This is going to come up way earlier than you anticipate because we think about back to school and we're thinking, oh, end of August, maybe some of us. But really, in order to get ready for back to school, we have to do it earlier than that. We're going to fill and fund some backpacks. We're going to give it to uh, local kids and families in the area. But in order to do that, we got to do it early. So August 7th is this Backpack Family Festival. But it's not just backpacks. Yo, it's gonna be a family festival right after church. There's gonna be bounce houses, inflatables, games and food, all kinds of awesome stuff. We're gonna have it right after church and it's gonna be a ton of fun. What I need you to do is first, like get it in your brain. Oh, it's coming faster than we think it is. It's gonna happen on August 7th, okay? That's like less than a month away. But I need you to um, write down that it's going to happen. I need you to put it on your calendar, however that works for you. I need to ask you to invite some people and maybe most importantly, fund a backpack. We want to be actually helpful servants of God. And so that definitely goes with it. And man, like get prepared, get psyched. We're going to have a lot of fun and we're going to help people while we're doing it. Okay, so a little update with me. Uh, some of you know I'm in the throes of this doctoral research that I've begun and having a ton of fun, super cool, studying a lot of cool leadership and discipleship things. And I'm in the middle of this bigger kind of project, bigger than I've ever done. I'm studying what disciples specifically do. And you think you know, but then you go to the scriptures and you're like, wow, there's a lot more specificity to this than, than I really thought. And so I tell you that to let you know that one of the things that disciples for sure do is they serve people. They serve Jesus. They serve Jesus by serving people. They serve people in Jesus' name. And when they serve people, meaning they do specific things that are designed to help people hear the gospel, to know Jesus, and to experience his heart. That's different than just being generally nice. And here's why I would tell you that, because I want to make sure that everybody in the universe knows that people that have a paradigm of being a Christian that doesn't involve literally serving people and serving Jesus, serving Jesus by serving people, they're kind of making up their own version of Christianity. Like that's just not the, the Christianity that the Bible demonstrates. Now you could say, well, what about, you know, I help people at work and I help people do this or that. Dude, I hear that. But that's what every human in the universe already does. And that's what every other person who was not one of Jesus' disciples, who was alive at, at his time, still, yeah, they were going out there and generally nice and they were doing nice things for people. That is not the same thing as being a servant of Jesus, being his disciple. His disciples are his servants doing his will in the earth, bringing about his help in the areas that he's called them to. So I say all that to say, Let's all up our game from a discipleship perspective. Let's make sure that we are in the faith. Let's make sure that we are ones who are proving, hey man, yeah, I belong to Christ and you can see it actually in my life. One way you can do that is to go to fierce.church slash serve. That's where you see all the ways that you could serve Jesus at Fierce, helping us out on Sunday morning, helping us out during the week, helping us get to know one another better and know Christ, but maybe even just most importantly, because it's what disciples do and we want to be a legit disciple. So if that's not on your radar yet, so many of you, you're, you already know that, you're crushing that, that, that's great. Others of you, you're kind of like on the fence, what does it mean to serve people? That's what it means. It means you are Jesus's man or woman in his place doing the things he wants you to do that are not the normal everyday things that people do. And that's the life that he's called disciples too. So I want to encourage you to go check out that website, fierce.church slash Service. All right, Precious, you got the download for this week. We'll talk to you soon.